are krill, tiny shrimp-like crustaceans. Swarms can reach astounding numbers, 60,000 per cubic meter. During the night, they rise towards the surface to feed on plankton. Here, in the Sea of Cortez off Mexico, the swarms attract hunters of all kinds, from humpback whales to shoals of predatory fish. Yet another hunter arrives. It's one from the deep. A Humboldt squid. Two meters long, they have a local reputation as man-eaters. Alone, they're formidable enough. But this is a pack of hundreds. They're highly intelligent hunters. Their eyesight is exceptional. They have powerful tentacles, suckers ringed with 70,000 hooks, and a razor-sharp beak for tearing through flesh. Now the fish find that they are under attack, and so group together for safety. But the Humboldt squid work as a team, herding the fish against the rocks. thought that the squid flash red and white not only to confuse their prey, but also to signal to each other when they are about to attack. are growing rapidly, but they remain mysterious. As fast as they arrived, they disappear back into the deep. Even in the dark zone, there is some light. Turn off the submersible headlights and you see a pyrotechnic display outside. These lights are created by animals. This is bioluminescence. A deep sea anglerfish flashes in the darkness. The light is generated by bacteria that live permanently inside the lure, which attracts prey to these murderous teeth. There are all sorts of lures out in the darkness. of this lure suspended on a long rod way below its owner's terrifying set of teeth. It's difficult to be sure. But then this monster does have another giant flashing lure much closer to its mouth. These fish are called anglers because they use their lures in much the same way as fly fishermen use their imitation flies.
for a hunting squid with huge eyes, this glimmer is intriguing. just be food. It may not look like it, but this is a coral. Scientists believe its glowing is an equivalent of sunscreen. of algae living in their cells. As these photosynthesize, they produce food for the coral. But too much ultraviolet light can damage them, so the corals protect themselves. A special protein absorbs the ultraviolet light and re-emits light of another color. By day, the sun is too bright for this to be visible. But shining blue light on the corals at night shows their fluorescent response. It's a much needed defense mechanism when there is no escape from the midsummer sun. If you want to find the greatest number and variety of animals that communicate with light, you have to go to the darkest place on Earth. Somewhere far beyond the reach of the sun's rays, where human beings hardly ever go, to the depths of the ocean. This is the Johnson Sea Link. At the front, it has an array of remotely controlled television cameras and searchlights. I'm sitting beside the pilot in the transparent bubble in the middle, and the whole craft is massively strengthened to withstand the huge pressures of the depths. As we go down, it gets darker and darker. The water is thick with small floating organisms. Okay, Roger, Sam. At 600 feet, the water outside is 20 times atmospheric pressure. The temperature is within a few degrees of freezing, and we're far beyond the reach of the sunshine. So you might think in such a hostile environment, there would be very few animals living. But watch this. The chorus of light is being made by hundreds of small deep sea creatures which are flashing in response to my light. And now, if I turn on the lights of the submersible, we may catch a glimpse of one of these strange deep sea creatures as it drifts by. The pilot has remote controls for the camera outside the sub to search for them in the blackness. This is a comb jelly as big as a football. It's been nicknamed Big Red, but it has yet to be given a proper name. It's new to science. Another new undescribed comb jelly. Although specimens have been brought to the surface, it's only been seen alive through the windows of deep sea craft like this. It uses a pair of long, retractable tentacles to catch fish. A jellyfish, Solomissus, two feet across, which, in spite of the changes of pressure, sometimes swims quite close to the surface. Keomia, another comb jelly, one that is surrounded by gauzy skirts.
but for the most sensational spectacle, you have to turn the lights of the submarine off. A jellyfish outlined by its own pulsing illuminations. A squid, its lights moving as its body throbs. Displays like this may serve for defense or to send messages. No one knows. And most spectacular of all, another jellyfish with its own amazing rhythmic flashing system.